Alright, welcome back to my next touch designer tutorial. And today I'm gonna show you how to create this noisy landscape-ish looking outward. And I recently posted a version of this on um on Instagram and was asked by several people to make a tutorial. So so here we go. Here we go. And um yeah, I'm not sure if like this technique generally is useful to you apart from making this so um, what I'm, I was basically trying to achieve here was a water colorish looking like visuals and this is kind of what happened <laughs> and so this is more of an experiment than a uh, I don't know very f thought through technique but yeah, you can actually do very like quite a lot of things with it, like always kind of looking like this, but uh, it's really cool. It's a lot of fun to play with, and yeah, I'm just gonna shut up now and build it with you. <laughs> That's what you're here for after all. So, all right, I'm gonna start with a grid, uh, a, a grid sop that we're gonna base the circles on that we're then gonna displace by noise. So I'm gonna set the rows to like four and the columns to like 10. Just make this viewer active, press W to see what's going on there. And um, connect this to a transform and a null. And then convert this to chops using a sub to chop and then connecting this to a null. Alright, so these are like the, the basic first steps. And I'm gonna call this instances, because that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna use a circle as an, the instancing um, geometry. And connect this to a geo. And on the geo instance um, tab, I'm gonna turn instancing on, drag this on here, and choose translate x, like cho choose the tx for the translate x and the ty for the translate y. And then I'm gonna drop a camera in here and a uh, ambient light, an ambient light because uh, I'm gonna use a fong material and we want the material or like the light distributed evenly on, on that. <coughs> All right, so I'm gonna drop a render top in here and connect this to a null and call this PG as always and on the render uh, top on the comment page I'm gonna use a little Python expression to take the size of my parent container so I'm gonna say me dot parent dot uh, parentheses dot width and just uh, copy and paste that in here and make this height so if I zoom out uh, on my project container, as always, I set the width and height to 1920 by 1080. You don't have to do this. And on the look, I changed the background top to BG. So if I just kind of refresh this, then we can see our instances appearing in there. All right. Um, now I'm going to uh, drop a phone material in here, as I said, and drop this on here and say par material. I'm gonna change the specular to zero because we don't want any specs specular on there. And I'm gonna use a ramp top to drive the color map of that uh, phone. Just connecting this to a null and dragging that null onto here, say par, uh, par color map. And now you can see these uh, circles have our uh, beautiful ramp on there. I don't want this to be horizontal though, I want this to be circular. And I'm gonna change the X10 left to hold and this should be same as left. All right, so now you have this beautiful black dot in the center there. And I'm gonna drop another color in the middle here and it should be a kind of grayish color. And I'm gonna drag that all the way over there. And I'm gonna show you later why. Okay, so this is the the basic setup. I'm now gonna use displace and noise to 
yeah to make what I promised you to show to show you <laughs> so I'm gonna use a displace here as I said and drop a noise in here and from the render I'm gonna take the Python expressions and simply uh, pass them in here and again change this to height so we have the same resolution as our render and then I'm gonna uh, connect that to the displays uh, image input <laughs> and uh, as you can already see it is being uh, displaced so it's working Yay. so I'm gonna um, drop a look up in here to get rid of the alpha and also later to change the colors I'm gonna get back to that in a second so um, I'm gonna change a few things on the displays and noise top so on the displays I'm gonna change the source midpoint to like 0 0.1 and 0 0.8 and as always these are very flexible values that you can change later so um, I'm gonna change this to 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 so you can already see we're slowly getting there and I'm gonna change the UV weight to something lower like this can be manipulated later as well now on the noise I'm gonna change the exponent to 1 and exponent exponent uh, amplitude to 0 0.1 as well no the exponent to 0 0.3 and um, then I'm going to change the period to 2, the harmonics to 6, the harmonic spread, we can leave it at that and just turn this down a bit. All right, so this already looks cool. Now, two things. I want this to, there's one thing, I want this to move. <laughs> so on the translate Y, I'm going to put in apps time dot um, seconds times minus 0 0.2 so that's gonna make this whole thing shift downwards and on the translate Z I'm gonna type the same thing apps time dot seconds times 0 0.05 now what this does is just make this morph uh, in itself just makes it more interesting also the last thing on the noise is um, if I change the, if I make this go down. Now you can see these uh, rectangles that are not very pretty. So these are because the pixel format is 8 bit, pic, uh, eight bit fixed. <laughs> um, and I want this to be 32 bit float. So it kind of gets rid of that. Okay. Now, um, all right, three things. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the with adding uh, another noise, but just to um, make this uh, grainy effect that I showed you, or maybe that that you saw. So I'm um, gonna drop another. Uh, gonna copy and paste this noise. So I'm gonna on a transform turn this off. I don't want to move this in time. It's going to take a lot of computing power. And then change this to random. So now we just have this noise field here. And the amplitude can stay at 0.1. And I'm going to change the level, uh, add a level. And um, then drop this in here. And change this to add. Now I'm going to uh, change the opacity to like 0.3 and now we get this grainy feeling there in the background and obviously you don't have to do that I just like the look of it uh, the second thing is color because uh, color is gonna make this whole thing a lot cooler so I'm gonna take a yeah now wh what this uh, lookup is basically doing we have uh, grayscale colors here or yeah, grayscale colors. So, a lot of different shades of gray, which is great for uh, this. So now we can like change the darkest color to. Or I'm gonna change the to like a dark blue, 
instead of black. She can barely see her now. I just make this stronger. Um, and just change the in-between grays to different colors. So I'm going to drop a, like a lighter blue here. And then a red there. This actually does kind of look like watercolors. <laughs> and um, then maybe a green in there as well. And a yellow or another red or I don't know whatever colors you f you feel are good for this uh, you can just yeah like should be my motto and just uh, play around um, so that's that's it for the colors you can make some really cool color effects there maybe even drop another like color in there more colors I don't know. Just, just play around. And um, two things now is one is the blur or a blur. And so on this blur, we can now change this to like change the filter size. And if we then change here the the UV weight which is already a great effect in itself. Like if I turn this quite down and then change the blur, you can see that's, that's gonna, that should actually make more of a difference. I don't know, it's so little difference now. Anyways, the other thing is um, we can use the TX as a scale and yeah, you can already see how, how much of a difference that makes. So, um, we're just changing this uh, outcome here with the TX scale. And um, if we now, on the transform here, change the rotation, it's also going to make some different effects. So that looks really sweet. So you can always check here uh, what kind of uh, geometry outcome you have. So this is pretty random. <laughs> but um, with, the, with the displays and uh, Blur, we can we can create some really sweet looking effects. So this looks very um, organic and natural. And um, yeah, the main trick here, I guess, like apart from the displays, is the ramp. Because uh, if we just check out on the render and take the material away, yeah, it's just uh, one color, so it's not very interesting. I mean, obviously we could, um, oh, whatever. Um, we, we could, there's probably other ways to add more color, but yeah, the, the ramp is what makes this actually so interesting and it's a very easy trick to do and it's great. <laughs> okay, so um, is there anything else? You can also play uh, around with the number of columns. So if I change this, there's going to be more of this, yeah. There's, there's going to be more <laughs> columns. <laughs> and um, if I now change the radius here, you can also see that makes a difference. So, yeah, these are all parameters that you can change if you feel like it. And obviously on the noise, there's a lot of room to, to play to make this uh, look cool and sweet and everything. Alright, so thank you for watching, uh, if you have any requests or questions or if you just want to chat or anything, <laughs> then uh, write me best on Instagram and yeah, I see you on the next tutorial.